Well, did you ever think that you had a great idea for a product that really can save the world? <laughs> sort of like mixing capitalism and socialism, right? Well, I think you can. Yeah, and there's ways to use capitalism to do very good in the world. And I'm not just mean by creating jobs, but just how about the underdeveloped countries that they really need economic development? And how are they going to do that? Yeah. So instead of giving them money to solve the problem, yeah, here's an idea how uh, this young fellow, and you'll see the video in a second, went on the web and got 20, like 26, 28 thousand dollars, you know, to start a tea company that gets tea from Nepal. And Nepal is like one of the poorest countries in the world. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a great idea. That's why capitalism, even though it has its faults and it almost killed and crushed the whole economy of the world, you know, last year or a couple of years ago, uh, it, it really is powerful, you know. And, and so here's, watch this story. He went on a Kickstarter, you know, he and this woman that started the business and they, they import teas from Nepal and got $26,000 from a Kickstarter coming. This is a crowdfunding. Went on the internet, built a little site, and he, he talks about how the site, having to put the information about his business idea on that site, made him think through the product idea, you know, and made him a better country company just for having to think through the product. I mean, that's another. We get so excited about stuff, and we, but but we don't learn to communicate it well because people's minds are somewhere else than we are. That's why I'm using one of these sites to raise money on. You know, helps you think through your idea and put it in understandable words. You know, so then you could use it for the rest of the success of the company. So watch this video. Watch how we got that twenty-six thousand dollars. Well, Mr. Burnett, Robert Burnett with Nepali Tea Trader. <laughs> and you were telling me before we went on there that you were like a, a student in Nepal and just I was. a year ago got out of college and now started a tea company with it. Right. Terrific. And watching the video, by the way, it, it, it's a very sensitive video. And what's nice about it, I mean, so much on, on Kickstarter is, you know, bells and whistles and <laughs> clowns and stuff like that. But it, it comes across that the seriousness of what your business is about. And, and yeah, you, know, you, you just feel that from everything you put in the video. So I want to congratulate you on that video because obviously you're sincere people doing terrific work. <laughs> Thanks. I'm glad that came across. You know, we're trying really hard to be a very honest business and a very open business and and you know we're trying to do some some good things so we feel like that's the best way to get that across so it, it, i mean you're using really economic development the t which is from what i understand from your site in the video is, is it like one of the best teas in the world that it's amongst the best yes yeah that they weren't really exporting it for a whole bunch of reasons and so it's mm -hmm. trying to help economic development in nepal he said hey we'll sell your teas <laughs> exactly you know we we think that you know, there's a lot of a lot's going on in the world right now with development, and we just thought that creating a business and paying people fairly and correctly for what they produce and what right. they should earn, you know, and giving people agency over their own lives, giving them the control to and the access to markets is the best way to allow them to unlock their own potential. We're not trying to do it for them; we're letting them do it for themselves. And, and uh, you, you, you're just really a distributor in a way. Are you? Yeah. Really Manufacturing the tea here, or are they just the raw material? Yeah, they no, they they do all the manufacturing. I the see. tea comes to us ready to drink. All we do over here is packaging and marketing. Ah, well, terrific. Yeah. That, our our that's goal is what to, they're the least good at, and that's what you're the most good at, right? And our goal is to actually continue. You know, as the business grows, the goal is to move as much as we can to Nepal. Eventually, we'd like to have the whole thing packaging, see, yeah. everything done there, mm -hmm. so we can employ more Nepalese. Give again, just give them more more jobs, more control. So is it you, the principals of the country, you company, you and and, and uh, uh, the woman I forget her name. <laughs> Maggie LeBeau. She's our she's our real founder. She's the CEO. She's the real. I see. Uh, You're just the pretty face uh. behind the whole thing. I'm just yeah. I'm just a pretty face to to help to help out. So. But uh, you I mean, her heart it seems very much into you know helping the people in Nepal who really need it. I mean, one of the poorest countries in the world. Yeah, that was the entire. <laughs> you know reason for starting the company was we wanted to help it wasn't to to make money or make it rich or or to, right. because we had any particular love or affinity for tea we just saw tea as this fantastic you know consumable product that commands a high price that can do great things if we if we 
you know, sell I mean, it. I, I, I think tea is a hot product too. Oh, it's, it's great. One of those things that's going to be taken over, you know. It's, it's, it's great for you. It's a good, healthy product. You know, yeah. we don't have to worry but about not it. Only that, it seems like a growth. I, I see these tea shops popping up. Oh, they're popping up everywhere. It's huge. Yeah, yeah Starbucks that's, is like getting Starbucks. into it. <laughs> it, it, people are people are starting to realize that tea, you know, it's a little bit less caffeine than coffee. Yeah. It's got a lot of health benefits. Mm -hmm. It tastes good. Right. It's just all the way around. Once you get once you get used to it, it's a it's a great product. Now uh, I'm hanging out with Chinese people now too, and they're all all these kind of teas and little jars of stuff and all that. <laughs> they never touch coffee. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's great. So on Kickstarter, you got about eight eight days to go. You're eight almost you know you're more than halfway. Uh, to your goal already, which yeah. is cool. And uh, and so now, then the goal will make you what? I mean, you're going to be able to, you know, do a batch, so you're ready to sell, or or actually, these so, are customers first. Yeah, we're already selling. Basically, this Kickstarter is a couple things for us. It's a pre-order for our the first flush or the spring flush is the the first crop of the year of teas, and it's by the best, it's the most highly sought after, it's the highest priced. Ah. So this Kickstarter will fund our purchase of those, because mm -hmm. it's right entirely, it's been an entirely self-funded company so far. So we can purchase those. So again, you know, get us more product, the better product, so we can start selling, again, sending more back to Nepal. And it'll help us, uh, you know, depending on how, if we reach our goal or surpass it, we can invest a little bit more in marketing, things like that to really kind of get the business up and running and get it out to the masses beyond kind of our friends and family and, and the Denver market. So, so yeah, I guess the Denver market must be hot for, for tea. It's yeah. a great place and we all just happen to be here. So, you know, it's our home. <laughs> we love our home. We love Colorado. So it makes it a, a you know, logical place for us to start, but I mean, it's also like it's just a, a great big, There's a big tea. Buddhist community there too in the Denver area or something. I mean, it seems yeah, like- Yeah, Denver Boulder, the yeah. big Buddhist community. There's actually a large Nepali uh, you know, expat community here in, uh -huh. in Colorado along the Front Range. Uh, plenty of great restaurants and Indian food, Nepali food. So it's a great place to be. Yeah. For business to be. Especially for a boy from New Jersey, right? Oh, yeah, it's great. <laughs> I love it here. And you just got out of school it's looking for, here. you were just got out of college and looking for something to do and this just fell in your lap, huh? Fell in my lap. It was, you know, yeah. I, I like to think we make our own luck, but I was pretty lucky. You know, I, I had done my work. I'd been to Nepal. I'd been wanting to do some kind of work with Nepal. Uh -huh. I saw myself going into into NGOs or the nonprofit oh, really? world. I see. To start, you know, and maybe maybe for a couple of years before doing graduate school or something, but this popped in my lap and it, it wow. is really right up my alley. I like the business. I like thinking as as a businessman, but knowing that you know what I'm doing is also you have a help bigger me. mission. Yeah, I mean that's yeah. I, that's the problem with I, I love capitalism because it's a great way to keep score because you know if yeah. you're really doing something of value, somebody's giving me money for it. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't underestimate the profit motive, and and yeah. also if we have a great product. Yeah. We, the product will sell itself and then we can do, we don't have to be beholden to, to, um, right. to people, to charitable contributions. We can just use our profits the exactly. way we see fit. And hopefully that'll make us more efficient as a, as a contributor to Nepal. Well, so, I mean, well to me, but that's what's going on now. Like Kickstarter, you don't have to go out and, and raise venture capital. Exactly. Some fat cat is going to tell you to hire their girlfriend or something like that. <laughs> so it really gives us a lot of control over our own business, which is the reason why we went down the Kickstarter road in the first place is, uh -huh. you know, let's just keep going, keep moving, keep moving forward without having to, you know, there's, I have no doubt we could find a fantastic investor who believes in our mission, but right. it, this makes it easier. Yeah, no, a lot easier. And, and even what I think, it's a great place to fail. So you screw up, you do it out there, you tweak we it. Have no, we, we have no intention of failing. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, but it, 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 it's, uh, I always plan, okay, what's the worst that's going to happen? Yeah, yeah exactly. no, that's exactly right. And the way we saw it too is it's a great way, it's a viral marketing. It, yep. It's a great way to get our name out there and get people involved and, you know, we we think we have a very compelling story and a compelling oh, mission. Terrific. So the, the, this is just a great way to tell that story. So what will be the uh, next thing? I mean, when, when this is over, I mean, then you just have to keep, keep growing that business and or the yeah, company? yeah. The next the next big thing for us would be in June. There's the World Tea Expo, ah. which is kind of a big trade show, tea trade show. Where? In, States and it's actually in Las Vegas. Ah, so we'll, get, we'll get to go to Vegas for a couple of days, and and that'll be our chance to really get in with the uh, our work on our wholesale business, work on getting into grocery stores, work on getting into tea shops, things like that. Yeah. 
And the Kickstarter is really to help us try to try, try to grow our online retail business, so direct to consumer through through the web. I mean, Kickstarter. What have you? What anything that surprised you that works that you didn't think worked, or or you thought you know, was going to knock your socks off and it was a bust on Kickstarter? You know, techniques. Yeah. Kickstarter has been really very steady for us, which we've been yeah. really pleased with. You know, it, it's hard to know how going in. Uh, the biggest kind of hurdles we had. I don't know if there's anything that kind of blew us away or anything, but the two things we realized we're learning is that originally our, we felt our message was a little, we realized our message was a little too, too muddled, a little too, we, we, we tried to write a lot down because we thought we had a great story. So we wrote it all down, but it got too much. Mm -hmm. And so it was, it was, you had to dig through to figure out exactly what was going on. So we've really worked on cleaning up our language, make, making ourselves a lot clearer. And it's helped our whole company business as a whole, because we've worked on getting a clearer, more honest, more stri straightforward and direct message which is what we've always tried to do, but we're learning how to do it more because mm -hmm. we have to interact with people every day. Um, well, so, that's yeah. a great thing. I mean, so Kickstarter is helping you focus your message for the rest yeah. of your life. Yeah, huh? kind of our brand image, our message. Because right. we've always wanted to be, a, we, we kind of can't went out with this say we want to be a very accessible, very open, very kind of a fun business. We want to be a business that you want to do business with. And Kickstarter is really helping us work on that message and get used to talking to people more directly, mm -hmm. which has been great. Yeah. Well, that's great. I mean, it's just great to hear the stories and it's great to hear somebody so young, I mean, interested in doing more than just, you know, making a whole lot of money on Wall Street, you know, and save yeah. some of the other problems we have in the world. <laughs> and doing it with capitalism. I mean, that's there you really go. cool. <laughs> for, for better or for worse, it's a tool that can Absolutely, be Absolutely, man. Use what the hell's out there. Exactly. <laughs> well, good for you, Robert. And uh, wish you the best Thank of you. luck, and I'll be drinking your tea, okay? Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. See, so you could use capitalism to start saving the world too. You use it for anything <laughs> besides just feeding yourself. There's so many things to do in the world. So many ideas you know, uh, to, to investigate. So many problems to solve. Don't waste time. You know, there, there's time on the web now that you could go to these websites and start testing out ideas, start using these, these uh, tools that are now available for you to do some fun, neat things in the world. So go at it.